Hello, welcome back again. And uh, this video is uh, all about how you can prepare for DevOps professional exam. And when you say professional, that is nothing but to become an expert on uh, that particular topic or be an SME for that uh, topic. So, uh, like it says, uh, if you see on the screen, your AWS certified DevOps engineer professional showcases individuals technical experience in provisioning operating and managing distribution application systems on the aws platform giving them increased confidence and credibility with peers stakeholders and customers organizations with these qualified professionals can ensure speedy delivery of secure compliance systems that are highly available and scalable who should take the exam who already has uh, coding level of experience, who has the understanding of modern development, the ability to implement and manage continuous continuous delivery systems, ability to imp implement and uh, automate security controls, governance processes, and compliance validation, ability to define and deploy monitoring matrices, metrics, and uh, logging systems on AWS. Right, this is the cost on the right hand side. It may vary uh, if you convert the currency into the one you are uh, uh, residing in. So, you know how the, what's the process of scheduling the exam? I would not uh, cover that because we already, I think uh, you, uh, you already know about it. And we uh, one we have already uh, we already have the video for uh, associate exam, wherein we covered a few things like uh, what uh, it contains in when you um, try to prepare for. AWS uh, Developer Associate exam. This is what we covered. Uh, it ha it, uh, Developer Associate exam has some uh, sections uh, categorized this way. Uh, if you see the percentage of how, uh, what is the weightage of every other section, each section, and this is the kind of topics it contains in uh, the given section. You would uh, see the same in DevOps Engineer Professional uh, Certification course. However, that would be a detailed version of it. So when you talk about uh, CICD uh, in developer associate you would study about code commit code pipeline code deploy code build however uh, when you talk about DevOps professional it may have more detailed version of it how you can you know um, integrate uh, other services with it and what's uh, the deep dive you can uh, do when you work with these services so the steps are same almost more or less uh, I would say Sign up to the course, like I told you. It also uh, these courses also this course is also offered by uh, same tutors, and it's it's very good. And uh, I also, you know, have gone gone through uh, those e-learning platforms, uh, courses on e-learning platforms, and that has detailed information and the version of the content offered by those tutors, Stephen Mack and. Uh, Neil Davis, uh, so you can go through it along with the practice sets. Like I said in the uh, previous video, sign up to the console and get hands on parallel to the course. It's very important here as well. When you do the course, you may come across with some slides wherein you have some hands on. So that hands on, uh, you know, uh, uh, shown uh, that hands on. Uh, you see uh, tutor is doing you also can do in parallel you just you have all already have the functionality to you know pause and resume the video so just pause it and do the same when you're done with the um, uh, one topic so don't try to complete the course and then do the hands-on because it may uh, uh, you, you you may you would lend uh, nowhere if you uh, because you cannot memorize each and everything and always make a note of things that you need to keep in mind that is important for exam and that is important for your career for your uh, techn technical profile do not make a note of each and everything in your notebook because that would take a long i mean if this course is uh, i i would say maximum of six months you, if you have dedication you can do it along with hands-on but if you uh, don't have time you're working professional try to uh, spare some time because if you do one topic today and you would do the next topic next month you again would have to start it from scratch right 
practice sets are very important and these practice sets are also offered by the same tutors uh, on the same e-learning platform sample questions you can google around it uh, you you may get uh, questions uh, pattern and format how the question would look like in the actual exam and white papers is always uh, you know cherry on top uh, from your official AWS website. Once you're done with this, you would be called as AWS Certified DevOps Engineer Professional. And let's go into the categorized section here. So it has SLDC, SDLC uh, automation software development lifecycle. It, it is uh, like 22%, it carries 22% of weightage. It is nothing but, you know, working with your uh, AWS services in detailed uh, version. Uh, Services like AWS Code Pipeline, Code Deploy, Elastic Beanstalk, integrated uh, all of these with each other. How that you know works, and configuration management infrastructure as a code is nothing but the cloud formation uh, understanding and how you can automate the deployment and manage the same infrastructure. So it has like 17% of weightage. Coming to next, resilient cloud solutions, 15%, how you can, you know, set up the disaster recovery and uh, and then the ability to build and manage systems that are cope with potential failures or disasters, like it says. 15% monitoring, logging, CloudWatch, CloudTrail, these services, but in detailed way, you would get to know. Incident, event, or uh, response, like SNS, SQS, some similar kind of stuff you would be able to uh, get the knowledge on in detail. And uh, you'd be, uh, once you're done with this topic, you'll be able to uh, effectively communicate and collaborate with the stakeholders during such incidents, you know, uh, using those uh, services. Security and compliance, the major topic, 17% of weightage it carries. It has uh, nothing but the topics like I am, KMS in detail, and there are many more topics you may get the hands-on and knowledge on. Okay, so once you are done with uh, this section-wise, you would uh, go through the content. Once you're done with all of these, you would appear in the exam. Do not schedule the exam if you're not prepared. Once you see that you are prepared, once you're done with practice sets, online sample questions, and um, white papers, you would uh, see something like that. Uh, you would get the result in five days, but uh, once you get the result, you would have this patch available with you in credit portal. I wish you good luck and just mention whether you pass or fail or whether it helped you uh, clearing the exam. And again, good luck.